best performance he's ever had. Yeah, he's a fantastic player, and he's only going to go get better and better as he starts to go to more national tournaments as yep. well. When he I gets mean, that time. When um, NEC 17 happened last year, he got third under, yeah. uh, I think, Mr. R. And, Mr. R is from um, France, right? Yeah. Then Mr. R and Ally. Was it Ally? Or somebody else. I, I want to say Ally. I don't know. It was two people who are really notable. So for you to get right under them and meet them at the level, that says enough. It about does. About yourself. All right, so actually we're going to have Redeemer Z and Derek Knox. Uh, Derek Knox being a, one of the one of the two prominent Pikachu mains in there. You don't see him as much as Sparky, but he has a very good Pikachu. Redeemer Z being higher on the PR. Look at the shadowing on his arms, dude. It's, I'm, yeah, I, it's, I, a, it's shady, man. I'm sorry. I, I, I got some work to do. I got some work to do. But all right, here we go. Oh, this is my matchup. Are you the right. mascots? So this is a good stage for both characters. Right now, we're just going to go. Uh, this might be a button. Warmer. Okay. Excuse me. I'm about to say. I was going to hype for button one. <laughs> I was like, going to give it to you, but the hardest <laughs> beat mug. I was like, I was gonna, wow. Pikachu's dare is sure is good. <laughs> Oh man, but this is a matchup that I'm really into to see. It's just like this is one of my vices being Pikachu because the character he just controls the match. He does. I got this term from um, Dio on Fire. He said that the the faster characters did take the pace, the pace in the match. And unfortunately, like even though Sonic's a faster character, mm -hmm. there's nobody who can move around the stage as fast as Pikachu. Pikachu is pretty impressive, especially with his auto canceled aerials. That's what pro probably attributes to his speed mostly because he can just zap around. Anywhere he wants to do a quick attack, do some cancels, and then do a perfect nair, which lands with just the right auto cancel for Exactly. And, and, and going back to quick attack, that's the thing. Like, I'm sorry, going back to the limits, quick attack acts in that way to where it's like it just flinches you. But yeah. even though it's not doing much damage, it not only does it stop your input, it opens you up for a combo. Yeah, it's, it's quite amazing. And right now we're going to go right into it. Uh, Redeemer Z starting out with a little bit of an early lead. Now, uh, Sm Smashville is a good stage for Pikachu because Quick Attack automatically cancels on that top platform, which is a boon for most Pikachu mains. Uh, but Mario having some pretty good mobility and having that platform to camp on a little bit is uh, definitely a benefit with that really nice meaty fireball that he likes to throw out from that platform. <laughs> good <laughs> solid combo from Redeemer Z. Good damage. That's, that's his the link getting. Oh, I think he went for the ally there. It's a straight pair. Oh, I, I think he wanted to go there. He was baiting out. As you can see, he's using that platform already. Oh, he oh punishes my. that down air. That was 108% yeah. in Pikachu this if you don't out, If you don't auto-cancel that down air and it's hit for the full frame on the ground, you can get punished pretty hard for it. And right there, you saw Redeemer Z bringing all he had, all the heat he had on that forward smash. He really did. I mean, all that, I mean, he landed that after that fantastic combo he got. It's just like, just carry Pikachu over. That, that's one thing that makes him one of the best Mario mains in our city right now. Because that Redeemer, uh, his, like, uh, his reaction time, uh, oh, almost got desire, But you know what? This man knows his combo. He does. He does. All right. He's controlling this. He's, um, oh, actually, one I was going to say almost that. One thing he likes to do a lot, he likes to control space. He likes to charge that flood, and that down B will take that first stop. All right. That's and actually not bad for Derek. two stops right there in the after, first game. But after, after Derek... At, 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 Sorry, Ooh. after Derek got to the um, I got KO'd at, with Mario at 39%. Yeah. Getting that KO that early was really good for him. But now okay, Redeemer is taking that momentum from the stock loss and is just racking up the energy in the morning. Oh, oh, oh and the spare spike takes it. <laughs> Excellent job. That, that was a classic that Mario combo. Yep. That makes me happy. Just the right percentage and just the right uh, spare spike right there. Gets that first game. All right, Redeemer is on the board. A very solid fair. Jeez, that was just, that was, get down. Yeah, that was amazing. And we're going to see Final Destination here. This is an interesting counter pick. Three, two, one. This right. might be a comfortability pick. I, I'm not sure how Pikachu quite fares on Final Destination. I know that he doesn't have many um, auto cancel quick attacks on ledges in this game, yeah, in this match. So. Every Pikachu normally goes straight yeah. for the ledges. Oh, hey, let me get Town and City, let me get Battlefield, let me get Dreamland. Yeah. But on, Damn, the, on the plus side, at least uh, the, the ceiling is a little bit higher, so maybe you can avoid that up smash from Mario a little bit longer. Then again, did we see him employ um, ledge cancels in the last game? Uh, a little bit on that top platform. Or er, ledge cancels? No, I'm sorry. But uh, he did do some quick attack cancels on the platform, which are oh, pretty much similar to ledge cancels. Uh, but we didn't see any uh, any in that game. Well, I'm not sure we're going to see any this game. We haven't seen some yet, but we'll see. The game's still early. Oh, correcting ourselves from earlier, though. Looks like this is Smash and Clash 9. Just, just oh, you know, yeah, because we did that that point five. Oh, yeah. yeah. For the flood. Yeah. All right, all right, okay. But in any case, uh, looks like um, Derek is actually having a better opportunity just, just figuring out 
Redeemer right now. Whether it's a playstyle or whether it's a stage. I'm not quite sure yet, but the damage say that, hey, I got this under control. So I think what's happening right now is that on Smash Bros, you have that platform which opens up to Mario's defensive options, but he doesn't have those defensive options here anymore. He's kind of forced to land back on the stage. And you're seeing a little bit of that early on, but uh, Redeemer Z kind of bringing it back right now. Ooh, good! Oh. Off Smash punishes that jump in. I saw that he went for the show hop back here, expecting the, the um, jumping option for Pikachu, but he just said, I'm just going to flip, flip kick. Is there any reason why I shouldn't? Ooh. Use that down B off stage, and that'll be safe. I thought, I thought the up smash was invincible. What happened? Oh, this is a nice little string he's got going here, and no, 38%. I know what happened though, he didn't actually launch the attack yet. Oh, and there's the up smash. The attack is only invincible on launch, not right. when you're winding it up, so, yeah. Yo, imagine if it's up smash that's super hard man. That yeah. would be love. Yeah, that would be. Mario would be top five easy, without a doubt. Yeah, as it stands, I think it has frame one or two intangibility, which well, is still pretty good. I love Redeemer right now. This man is just like, he's just carrying Pikachu over. And then he even did the flood just to push him off stage. Because then that puts oh, Pikachu bear, automatically bear. into bear. the defensive position. And you're right, that. Oh, oh no, man. just doesn't use the quick attack to get back to the ledge. And that will be yeah. it for game two. Excellent job by Redeemer Z to really control his spacing, really control the pace of the match. But Derek, putting up a fight.